Are you ready for your first lecture? An ugly lady Macbeth is the most famous femme fatale of all time, and she comes to embody a lot of the characteristics of the femme fatales from Old Noir that I'll be talking about. She's beautiful, but she's dangerous and evil and cruel and cold, and she obscures traditional romance and passive domesticity. She's simply not happy being a housewife. Along with Schrodinger, who he rescued from Austria, when a lot of other people who tried couldn't, he also got Schrodinger's wife, Schrodinger's mistress, Schrodinger's illegitimate child, and they were all living under the same roof in Plantarf. <laughs> now, so this is uh, quite the scandal in 1940s Dublin, and uh, this is the same Dublin that uh, just elected jo uh, John Charles McQuaid as Archbishop of Dublin, pictured here being, being very cosy with De Valera in 1940. I'm going to talk about theory tonight. Uh, do we have any literary uh, theorists in the audience? <laughs> hey! <laughs> you know, to see how this works, I thought we'd take a phrase. So I was thinking, you know, we'd examine the phrase lovely cans. Uh, so basically, you know, lovely cans, you know, uh, has a lot going on for it. You know, there's a lot of associations with that, you know, like good times, refreshments, hedges, you know, a lot of stuff going on. Um, so that's a speech act in one sense. It's something that you say to get a response, and you might not always get a response. It you know, depends on the crowd. Um, yeah. But uh, Ireland at the time was quite sectarian uh, in the 90s, and we were devi devi divided into two uh, very dangerous but devoted camps. Uh, there was neighbours and there was home and away. She's always knitting, but what outsiders don't know is that she is marking the aristocrats to, who will be sentenced to death by knitting patterns into her knitting that symbolize their names. So her knitting is a, basically a death list of um, the evil aristocrats. Basically, misophonia literally means hatred of sound, right? And for me, it's like eating noises. It's something I picked up as a kid. I think I got it off my dad, you know? Because uh, I remember, as a young a child, I remember enjoying a packet of Tato, and without warning, my dad threw me out the window, you know? So <laughs> we didn't know it was misophonia back then, but he definitely had a touch of misophonia, or he just didn't fucking like me, you know? Um, I, like, as a kid, I was getting up 10 minutes early every morning to put milk on my brother's cereal. So, so that it was soggy by the time he got to the table, you know?